Now we take a piece of deer hair. First of all, I put a needle in the vise. And this is for making the detached body. I've got some 6-0 thread. What I'm going to do is whip the thread onto the needle up here. And then I'm going to wind this thread a little bit towards the point. Now is that clear? I've got a thread whipped under the needle and then wound a little bit towards the point. <laughs> and this plain deer hair I'm going to pick off another little bundle about as thick as a match. I hope this is going to work. <laughs> trimmed off a little bundle about as thick as a match. Now this bundle of deer hair, I'm going to grasp it up here near the, the hand. I'm going to just, I'm going to spin this deer hair now like you would a muddler onto the needle and make it all stand out like that. Now that's a horrible looking thing isn't it? Now this is the trick. I'm going to bring all this hair back to the point. And then I'm going to hold it in place with this thread, really, really roughly. Okay, it's worked like a thread. Now we forget about that thread. Now we get our tying thread, which is 80 brown thread again. Now, right at the very end here, and the first one's the hardest one, we put a little whip. Don't you come on down, your dog. Here, hold your breath for me, that's the way. And we tie a whip off in there like that and trim off the ends. Now we undo this thread a bit and up here we put another whip. Oh, you're doing the segment. Segmented. And I'm building the segments of the body as we go on the needle. And all that first thread for was to hold all the thing together while we get it in place. And now you're taking it all off. And put in each of the segments. Now, you could wrap that forward in a spiral. Mm -hmm. And doing that would be very, very easy. Mm. But if you have a look at the natural, the segments are all se segregated. Mm. So I've gone to the problem, the pr trouble of segregating the body so that all the segments are, diff are, are individual. <coughs> and that's why people call me crazy, they said you don't have to do this to make a flight. But you enjoy it. But I do because I love flight though. Yeah. It's more robust doing it this way though. Mm. You only got to break one thread the other way, and it's all undone. Mm. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, when I finish this, this is going to be indestructible. Yeah. Totally indestructible. The only way that this fly won't catch a hundred fish is that you're going to lose it in the fish. <coughs> and or the hook's going to break or rust away or something like that. But the fly is never ever going to come undone. Even though I'm not tying very robust whips on here, I'm only doing about four, and I'll you, show you why in a minute. Because this is only to make the segments.
Oh, the statement's the same size, Graydon? Oh, of course they are, exactly. Get them. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Did you see him get that millimeter ruler out? Get the very calipers out. Yeah. <laughs> the calipers. Now, we've got a, a segmented body. If I cut that off there, I'm going to blunt my scissors, aren't I? Because there's a bit of a needle sticking out there, so I'll come back a little bit further. Get rid of that point off there. I don't want too much rubbish hanging around. And then we'll put it back on there. Now, the other wonder material. Quick, quick, quick grip contact today. Put a bit of super glue on here like this. Now, if you rub that in with your fingers, you're going to have a horrible, sticky, bloody mess. So get a some sort of paintbrush and paint it on. Now, ideally, we would give that 40 minutes to consolidate. 